short exercise 14-9, issuing a bond at par value. So issuing a bond at par value means, in this case, we have $125,000 worth of bonds. So that's going to be the exact price that we get for the bond issuance. Par means we get the par value, which is a maturity value. So we need to journalize the issuance, which means sale. The sale of the bonds payable at face value, which means par value, which means for every $1,000 bond, we're getting exactly $1,000 on January 1st, 2016. So we are receiving cash, we the company issuing the bonds. We get exactly $125,000. We now have a debt called bonds payable. Just a reminder, liabilities go up on the credit side. That is why we are crediting bonds payable. Issued bonds payable is our memo. Now, we're going to pay semi-annual interest in cash, of course, on July 1st. So notice we issued the bonds payable on January 1st, and of course, bonds payable pay interest every six months. So six months later on July 1st, we need to record interest expense. Interest expense is going up. And since it's and since expenses go up on the debit side, that will be our debit and cash will be going down. Now we need to know how do we calculate the interest. The formula for bond interest is principal times rate times time. So our bonds were $125,000, that's the principal, and they happen to be 6% bonds. So multiply that by six and the, and the interest is paid every six months. So times six divided by 12 gives you 3750. paid semi-annual interest payment. Okay, so notice we issued these bonds in 2016 and the bonds are 15 year bonds. In the next transaction, it's gonna be 15 years later. So we need to get rid of the bonds payable and pay out the $125,000 in cash. So payment of the bonds payable at maturity, we need to give the date. So remember, January 1st, 2016 is when we issued the bonds. So 15 years later, so 2031, on the same day, January 1st, we need to get rid of the bond payable. So we are debiting the bonds payable because we're paying off the bonds. So we get rid of the debt. And of course, a liability, bonds payable, is gonna go down with a debit. And now we need to pay, let me scroll down, we need to pay cash in the amount of the par value to retire our bonds. These bonds at this point would be retired and they would no longer pay interest.